So now we just need to put on the wheels. Make sure you have the wheels like I told you about earlier. So stick, if they happen to be different sizes, make sure you have the larger wheels in the back because you're going to need them. So just stick them on like so. It's a Lego axle. It's pretty simple. Um, then you go to the front assembly on the rack assembly right here. And on the bottom circular hole right there for the brick, for the axle to brick, brick, stick in the wheel and the axle through there. So it's like so. And then just put on a spacer to lock it in. I suggest you don't use the axle to pin to put the wheels onto this because it'll have less stability and it will start to like bend and stuff like that when underweight by the RCX and the other assemblies. So just get the wheels on here. And then all you need now is just the RCX. So make sure you just have it where the actual RCX is on top of this driving motor and the uh, Technic brick on the touch sensor in front. So that should make it good and stable. Then connect the drive motor to port B, like so, and then the steering motor to port A, then the touch sensor to port 2, and that is pretty much how you build the rack and pinion car. I have the code provided in the description, and just please comment or subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching. See you later.